I had been in North America for three million years, and then 10,000 years ago. For reasons no one knows, I disappeared. But in the Middle East and Europe, I grew to the horse as you know me today. Hast thou given the horse strength? Hast thou clothed him in thunder? The Book of Job. As a magnificent Andalusian mix, large and powerful, 20 of us came to the West Indies with Columbus. We were back in North America to stay. To stay. By 1700, I carried Lakota, Sioux, and Cheyenne across the Great Plains and the settlers of the 13 colonies. I carried Paul Revere on his midnight ride. I froze in Valley Forge with George Washington and 12,000 men and women of the Continental Army. I carried them to victory, and I carried Washington to the presidency. I brought Lewis and Clark into the wilderness of the unknown West. I carried gold seekers to California. 4,000 of us fell at Gettysburg. I carried Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse to triumph at Little Bighorn, and I died there next to Custer. Geronimo rode me to freedom and surrender. I galloped the pinnacle and the twilight of the Wild West. Wild West. They are the most sentient being I've ever met in my life. Horses have built our country, and they've done it by allowing us on their backs. With Equine Voices, I feel like I'm doing a small part in the bigger scheme of things by rescuing horses that really need a place to go. I am Taylor. With one broken leg, I stood on the other three at an auction, already auctioned off, waiting to be loaded onto a truck in less than 24 hours to be delivered to a slaughterhouse in Mexico. I was all over the news. Kachina, people saw me chained to the back of a truck, dragged across the desert. When the sheriff arrived, a 13-year-old girl with a two by four was still beating me over the head. My name is Diamond Rio. I was what you would call a drug running horse. Not by choice. One morning in the wilderness, I was carrying hundreds of pounds of marijuana. Another group of traffickers came upon us. I was shot. I was nearly dead when the Border Patrol found me. I was found alone, wandering through the city of Mesa, Arizona, with a big gash in my head. Someone, it seems, had hit me with a two-by-four over and over. When I arrived to Equine Voices, trust me, you could not come near me. My name is Mystic. I was born in Manitoba, Canada a premier and mare, like my mother was before me. She was kept pregnant constantly, confined in a stall that was so small she could barely move. I was doing sales and marketing in Los Angeles, California. I met a woman that started a wild horse sanctuary and I moved to the Central Coast to help save wild mustangs from slaughter. I found out about the premier and mares and foals and where the drug premier and comes from. As a child of a premier mare, I was a byproduct of the PMU process. Horses are tied up in tiny stalls. I was horrified at the treatment of the animals. The horses cannot move for six months. A female horse kept and raised entirely for the sole purpose of creating pregnant mare urine. Premarin is a drug for hormonal deficiency symptoms of menopause. A drug women take that is made of horse pee. I moved to Arizona and I found a 10 acre piece of property and I decided to start my own sanctuary. I was put up for auction. The auctioneer described me as big and ugly. Big and ugly meant I'd definitely be going straight to a slaughterhouse. I was only going to rescue one, but when they told me that Gulliver was big and ugly, I decided to rescue him as well. He was our fourth rescue. They were really the catalyst for me starting Equine Voices Rescue and Sanctuary. One bale of hay in the barn 
and a thousand dollars to my name. And I had 24 horses that were in my care. It was a very, very scary place to be. In order for me to continue my mission and this important work and the sanctuary, I waitressed at night for two and a half years in order to get the organization up and running. I feel strongly about the fact that we're all connected and animals are part of who we are. The story of Kachina, a 13-year-old daughter was beating her over the head. What is that daughter going to grow up to be? Her father said I was being punished because I would not load into his truck. He said I'm crazy and violent. Inside, I still bear those scars. But I am an ambassador for Equine Voices. My head is healed and I am living large. I will live here at Equine Voices for the rest of my life. A happy horse and a very, very lucky horse. You could not get near me back then. And now I come to you and I say, this is my story. When Equine Voices bought me for all of $75, I practically ran into the trailer. Instead of dying in some slaughterhouse, I live on this beautiful ranch in Arizona. The mascot. Go figure. Big and ugly. I didn't think big and ugly. I thought big and beautiful. And happy, too. It's been an amazing journey. It's been an amazing reward. If you're doing your purpose in life, something that is powerful and that is good, I don't believe you can fail. I know that Equine Voices will be here for a long time to come. I live to tell my story. If you love me, I will love you back.